What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So the movie Damsel came out on Netflix starring Millie Bobby Brown and Angela Bassett, right? And so I'm watching the movie um, because I heard a lot of people talking about it, whatever, watching the movie. And the movie had a, a it started out with a good premise, right? Um, young woman comes from a family. She's getting married all to another. She comes from a family that's kind of they're not doing so well right now. Right. Uh, the people that she comes from, the town she's come from, they're in need of money. And so they are marrying Millie Bobby Brown's character off to a prince who's wealthy. Right. To gain some wealth for their village and sharing the wealth. So she goes to the the kingdom that, you know, the prince lives. She gets to meet him. She starts preparing for the wedding. They do all the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They do all the, oh, meeting the parents, et cetera, all of that, right? Angela Bassett is Millie Bobby Brown's stepmother. In this case, if you're wondering how did Millie Bobby Brown, I mean, how did Angela Bassett and a white man make Millie Bobby Brown? <laughs> She's the stepmother in the movie, right? So anyway, when they get there, um, Angela Bassett is kind of like, She's kind of um, sees that the guy that the prince's mother is really snobbish, standoffish. She sounds like she wants nothing to do with the family. She's just getting her son married off. She don't want to make new family. We're not interested in that. Don't forget that you are lowborn. She's saying that to Angela Bassett's, um, Angela Bassett's character, right? And so Angela Bassett starts to get a little alarmed. Like, what's going on here? We thought this was going to be a happy union. Why is the other parents acting standoffish to me, right? And so the father is like, listen, we had a talk. We had a talk, everything all right. But he seems to be weird. He don't want to talk about the family not being um, good people. He don't want to talk about the, 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 the woman seeming very cold hearted and not wanting them as family. And, you know, she sees, Angela Bassett sees that the father is like really down and downtrodden after having a talk with the prince's mother. Right. Um, anyway, it comes time for Millie Bobby Brown to get married off to the prince. As she's getting married, they say we got to go to this um, this little I guess this little place where we give an offering. Like we go to the places with our ancestors, like we give praise to our ancestors or whatever. Right. And in the wedding ceremony, um, they cut the prince's hand. They cut Millie Bobby Brown's hand and they put his hand on top of Millie Bobby Brown's hand to connect them as one or so we thought. And then the prince carries Millie Brown, puts Millie Bobby Brown in his arms and throws her off the ledge down into a dragon pit. So what happened is many centuries prior to this, uh, the king of the land went and killed three baby dragons that belonged to this mother dragon, right? After slaughtering uh, the three of the baby dragons, the dragon who talks, now again, the dragon talks, but we know in the dang on Lord of the Rings movies and all of that, the dragons be talking. So this is fiction, so we're going to let it ride. The dragon basically said, hey, in order for you taking my three babies, I guess every so often you're going to have to give me three members of your royal family to make up for as sacrifices to make up for you taking my babies right so in order to trick the dragon they use the princes somebody of the world the prince and whoever was before that they use they cut the cut a cut a hand and put his blood on top of they put it on top of the other person's hand to kind of confuse the dragon because the dragon can sniff out royal blood so when the prince puts his hand on top of millie bobby brown's hand the, the blood is connected and some of the royal blood gets into millie bobby brown's hand so now the, the the dragon thinks hey this is a woman of royal blood i have to kill her they made the correct sacrifice right so while she's down there she's running from the dragon running from the dragon running from the dragon the dragon is terrifying for sure right so good look on the dragon. I thought the dragon looked good. Um, the problem that I seen with it, I like the premise and all the whole setup. The problem that I saw with it was that um, it was time she was she should have been taken out by that fire. She survived a little bit too. <laughs> she survived and got through a little bit too easy. I'm like, yeah, she should have been burnt up a few times. Like, there's no way she should have survived some of these dang on these interactions with this fire. They could have had her miss the fire a little bit more to kind of make it more realistic at certain points. Cause I'm like, yeah, she would have been, I'm talking about ash. She would have been burnt to ash in some of these instances, right? 
Um, so then, you know, um, she's in there trying to survive. She finds out, hey, they've been doing this for years. She starts seeing hallucinations of other girls and she starts seeing names of other girls that have wrote their names down there as they're being trapped. She sees skeletons of other girls too because, hey, the dragon has been killing women for years as the, the royal family has been offering um, these girls for as a sacrifice to the dragon, right? Because, you know, in mythical, in, in mythical movies, these dragons can live for 200, 300 years and it's not absurd because tortoises, they be living for 100 some years, right? Anyway, um, so she's trying to escape. She's trying to escape. Um, at some point, her father comes down and he comes down and he's looking for her to drag and like, listen, call for your daughter so we can get this over with. Right. The father says, please tell his daughter, don't come out. Listen to me. Don't come out. Don't come out. Um, the dragon squishes the father. Right. So then Millie Bobby Brown runs to her father. She finds out that her father has, um, basically he conspired with the family. He wanted to, he, he was about to. He really tried to go through with giving his daughter up in order for gold to make their kingdom back whole again, make his, where he came from, back wealthy and rich again. He was going to give up his daughter's life to save the, the his people, where the, the town that he came from. And then he thought about it and he thought it was a terrible idea. He felt bad about it. So he came to save his daughter, right? So she finds this out. And then, you know, she uses her because a father that came down there with a sword. She uses her father's sword to attack the dragon at certain points. And y'all, when she do this slide on the rocks, I say there's no way she can slide like this on this damn rocky, this rocky terrain that she's on. Her knees would have been scraped up and hurting so bad she slides under the dragon and all of that. I say, oh, no, she can't do <laughs> that part. She can't do. But then again, I'm still liking the movie, though. I'm still liking the movie. Right. Um. Eventually, they find out that with. Millie Bobby Brown's character escapes. The dragon is pissed off because he's like, I'm supposed to have my sacrifice. What's going on? Y'all supposed to let this girl, let me kill this girl. The dragon can't get to Millie Bobby Brown because Millie Bobby Brown has escaped. And the dragon starts setting everything ablaze, causing a ruckus. So the prince's mother says, okay, she must have escaped. I knew that girl was going to be trouble. I know how to, how to solve this. She finds Millie, Bobby's Brown, Millie Bobby Brown's younger sister and they throw her in the pit. Okay, they, they slice her hand and throw her in the pit, right? So now Millie Bobby Brown got to go back in there and get her sister and bring her back to Angela Bassett because Angela Bassett is still alive, right? Um, Millie Bobby Brown goes down there. She fights the drag and she starts, some of the lines she starts saying is corny, like this is for all the girls who've been sacrificed. I'm like, all right, now, we ain't talking to the drag and giving a monologue. This is for all the drag and the girls who've been sacrificed. We're going to end this, all of that. And she ends up duh, um, using a trick for the dragon to blow the fire on a, uh, a rocky terrain where the, the the fire ricochets back onto the actual dragon and burns the dragon up, right? As the dragon is getting ready to die, Millie Bobby Brown explains, hey, you've been tricked. They've been slicing our hand. We are not of royal blood. They've been tricking you the whole time. And she helps the dragon heal. Y'all, this is the most unrealistic part of the movie. I'm not helping no dragon heal. They tried to kill me. They tried to burn me up, tried to kill my sister. I got, and you didn't kill my father. I got to kill you. I'm not working with the dragon. I'm not being understanding. I'm not trying to understand the dragon's perspective. I'm not coming to an agreement. The dragon got to go. The dragon got to be killed, okay? But she helps the, dra the, the dragon heal with some like glow worms or whatever, right? And I remember that they were glow worms hanging from the ceiling because that's what they were in, what Wakanda forever when they was in the cave when they was uh what's the boy name not um Namor when they was in Namor going to um uh, uh the Talokan what what um what was they at what was the place called I don't know anyway but he was talking to the Talokan people uh the people of Talokan I think it was called Talokan whatever but anyway they had the glow worms hanging from the ceiling anyway Millie Bobby Brown and the dragon come to an understanding after the dragon heals and they work together to kill the, the to kill the royal family. Millie Bobby Brown brings the dragon to the royal family and burns them all up, burns them up alive. Okay, cool. The dragon helped you escape because the family was going to kill Millie Bobby Brown. Had they escaped, the family was going to figure out a way to kill Molly, Millie Bobby Brown, and for sure. So the dragon was used as a way for them to get up out of there. But my thing is, 
It, it, you're not going to try to save this dragon. Then at the end of the movie, Millie Bobby Brown and the dragon walking in unison and the dragon like, yeah, this my girl. Nah, <laughs> this my girl. Like, remember how um, Sonal Lathan was running with the Predator at the end side by side on, in Alien vs. Predator? It just looked silly. It looked foolish, right? It just didn't look right. It didn't look right. But I liked the, the acting. Um, Angela Bassett made sure she was going to survive in this movie for sure. I like the acting. I like the overall story. Just certain parts were corny and just cringe. At certain parts like walking with the dragon at the end. Overall, I give it a 7.5. What do y'all think this movie deserves? Let me know. Peace.